and welcome to week number four of the NEA M3 series. I'm SSR Mayhem bringing you tonight's live action here at Nurburgring, the GP circuit. As we're going to combine the A and the B lobby as we had enough drivers between both lobbies to create one. So 22 drivers, or uh, 21 drivers in the scene here tonight, ready to rock and roll. Uh, we're just waiting. A couple of drivers get back in here uh, and we should be good to go. Last week's winner, RZM Servi, getting back-to-back -back wins so far this season. The only other driver to win is back in week number one at Road Atlanta, ESV Hydra, who's been out of town the last couple weeks and won't be with us here this week. We are just waiting for these drivers to ready on up. And as soon as we get the final ready up, we'll get ready to rock and roll here. Looks like Nicole Sloth and Bobbers are the last few drivers to ready up. And it should be a good race tonight with 21 drivers in the field, one of the uh, bigger lobbies than we usually see, so it's always fun to have that. And uh, we should be good to go here. And Sweden Pro making a late appearance. So Sweden Pro uh, making a late appearance. He's going to start at the reeler of the field as well. And looks like he's gone. So I guess Sweden Pro will not be running with us. He didn't qualify this week, but uh, it looks like he will not be running then after all. So uh, 21 drivers ready to set. And Sweden Pro looks like he does end up making it in, so we will have a, another driver tail end of the field. As soon as Sweden Pro readies up, we're going to get ready to rock and roll here for 31 laps of racing action here at Nürburgring once again. This is week number four of the MEA M3 series. I'm SSR Mayhem, and if you got anything to say, let me know down the right to the bottom corner of my chat box, and I'll definitely talk to you guys throughout the race. Uh, hopefully, uh, we won't get too many lag outs here tonight. <laughs> it's a big field of cars, and we are waiting for Breeze to uh, get set as he might be having issues okay so he's back on so good all right so once breeze readies up he should be good to go Sweden Pro is ready to up. We're good to go then. Heck, he's not ready though. Oh, it's Sweet and Pro. Okay, so we just wait on Sweet and Pro. All right, 
Alright, so we're good to go now. What do you mean, not all the drivers? Who else? Not ready up now. What is this? Come on, guys. We need to go. Alright, they're all ready now. So we should be good to go here. And that's 22 drivers in the field. This should be a good one. As RZM Breeds back in racing form. Starting on the pole here tonight. Last two week winner. RZM Servi right behind him. Bobberts right there in that third spot. Pace lap ready to commence. And starting on the front row, RZM Breeze right next to him. RZM Servi right alongside him. SSR Bobber starting in that third position. Right behind him, Slothatron in the fourth. Fifth will be Martin out of SVR. Sixth starting spot will be Senna. Back in racing action right behind him. Independent driver, SSR Nicole leaving Slapshift Racing this past week. Starts in the seventh position. Right behind her is Standing Joel. Following those two is MRT Elgard. And a newcomer in the picture, Diamond Man 2014. Right next to him is SSR Bash, AMSB Shadow falling behind in that 12th position. 13th is Mercifield. 14th is his teammate, Bad Damon. 15th is SMX Venomous, his teammate, Zavatar, not able to ring the bell here tonight. Right behind him, Blisk in the 16th spot. SSR Sin, 17th, 18th. SSR Rebecca, 19th, will be Jigsaw Bungie. 20th will be AMS Hurricane. 21st will be MRT AM, and rounding out the field in 22nd. Will be Sweden Pro in that 22nd position. Once again, I'm SSR Mayhem bringing tonight's live action here at Nurburgring GP Week 4. The drivers preparing. It's a big field here tonight as we bring on all the drivers into one lobby. Makes it a little bit easier for some of us to uh, calculate all these drivers in the final total, especially with two different lobbies. Uh, we were just fortunate enough here tonight. Uh, misfortune for not getting all the drivers who were able to qualify. A couple of drivers having some issues making the race tonight. A couple of them were able to get back in line with everything, so that was good. You can see those all the drivers back there behind six. What a beautiful field of cars here tonight. 22 drivers on the track. One of the biggest MEA showings in one lobby. Merging the A and B lobby drivers together due to some dropouts between both of the lobbies. Able to bring them in as one giant lobby. We had enough room for another, but nonetheless, we got one heck of a field here tonight and it should be a fun show. R. Martin has one win on the season, but in the B lobby. So we don't count B lobbies as stats here in MEA, but he does have a win in the B lobby. AMSB Shadow, who is also here tonight, almost did not make the race. Had to get a last minute Xbox Live card. But it's going to be really interesting to watch. I mean, we pull up the race, but you can see, look at that line of cars right there. These guys got to take it real nice and easy get through this chicane here. The simulation damage. You, know, you don't want to damage the car early. So here we go. The drivers coming off the final corner. Going to double up. They got enough time so the whole field should be able to kind of get together on this. Here we go, 31 laps here at Nürburgring GP, and the green flag flies, and Breeze will lead the field on lap number one. Little bump and a bang and bumper to bumper action right now. As you see the field pretty much successfully, it looks like everybody got through turn number one just fine, so that's great to 
see there as all the drivers are getting going. SBR Martin to the inside, MEX Senna to the inside line. Standing Jewel Bloods on the outside line, backed off just a little bit, following him with the it's the cool. SBR Martin will take over the fourth spot now from MEX Senna as we are continuing lap number one here right off. Sorry, that'd be fifth. Uh, there's, I forgot there's a couple more drivers in front of these guys, but are those two battling out early here right now? RCM Breeds currently your race leader, lap number one. And let's look at the field. It looks like everybody's running pretty good so far. We'll go further deeper into the field. There's our RTL guard right there battling AM AMSB Shadow for the position. And look at that, standing jolt to the inside, going inside of standing jolt, standing jolt to the outside line. Elgar battling for that eighth spot right now, so got some stuff going on back there between those drivers. Let's go further back near the 20th and the 22nd position, we see two, three drivers here: Sin, Rebecca, Jigsaw, and AM currently battling out for position. These guys coming up in the B lobby to merge in with the A lobby. They got some battling going on right now as well, so good to see them. And the uh, latecomer, WRT Sweden Pro, uh, is a quick, quick driver. We've seen him back a couple weeks ago when he joined the B lobby, guys. He dominated the field once that's in front. And right now, he wants to get up there. He's going to have to do some battling and do some work as he's got a long way to go. But plenty of laps to race, a lot going on for him. AMS Hurricane in the 12th spot right now. Looks like they cool and lost a little bit of ground. Something must have happened as they were battling it out to the front of the pack. SSR Bash making some moves here early on, still inside the top 10. We got a, these guys are making it happen. I mean, we pulled the race map. Everybody's still with one another. I mean, the back of the pack, let's say from 7th on, is kind of distancing themselves from top 6, 7 drivers. But uh, it's very close quarters back here right now, early in this race, and they go into lap number 2. And Hurricane to the inside of Beast, or I'm sorry, uh, to the inside of Bash there. It looks like Mercerfield wanted to go along with him as well, but couldn't get the line to come off of turn one. So the, uh, Hurricane, who was originally in the B lobby, he's, he has come way back from the back of the field right now, and he's making things happen. I mean, let's see if I can pull up the grid changes here. He's He's got to be one of the biggest moves this race so far, AMS Hurricane did not qualify, and he's already in the top 10. It's right there on the top of your screen, you look at the loop, you see who's moved up and who's moved down, you see standing jewel gaining two positions, and look at that, AMS Hurricane from 20th to 10th in one lap has made some things happen early on, so fun to see. So far, he's probably the biggest mover on the racetrack. We're going to move further up to the top five right now. We're riding along with SSR Bobbers, who's currently on the back end of RZM Slothatron. Battling for that third position right now. Serbian Breeze has kind of checked out. SBR Martin not too far off of Bobbers. You see Standing Jewel in the background with Senna not too far off of him. Standing Jewel, who had a fantastic, had a, a fantastic season so far. A rough race in week number two back in Daytona, but he's been nothing but sensational week one and week three, and he's making his presence known early. So right now we see everybody. It looks like Nicole's going all the way back to 21st so far in this race. Uh, not so sure what's going on with her. We'll check out her car real quick, as she's uh, lost some positions early in this race. Got any damage on the car? And I'm probably picking up the upper the race map. It's all right. And we pull up here. So no, she just lost positions. That so right now she's battling for the 20th and 19th spot. Oh, but her and AM get tangled up just a little bit right there. And Bungie coming on by him. AMM kind of getting the back end of the cool. They kind of connected and held on to one another. Not what you want to see, but I uh, was able to hold on to it. And uh, they were able to continue going forward without any problems. And we're back up to Sweden Pro right now. The WRT driver, who's currently starting back in 22nd, he's now up to the 14th spot on the track. He's really working hard to try to cut up through the racing field right now. And Hurricane has moved all the way up to 8th. Hurricane starting all the way back from 20th. Within two laps of this race so far, has found himself in the eighth spot. He's moved up 12 positions since the start of this race. So we're going to go check out the race leader right now, which would be RZM Breeze out of Rise Motorsports. You see his teammate, RZM Servi, right behind him. Breeze. Your pole sitter leading every lap so far in this race, but his teammate, Servi, 
Derby. Last two weeks has won both races back at Daytona and Silverstone when we were running the national circuit last week. Was very tuned in, ran his own race all by himself. Currently running in that second spot. Team leader RZM Slavatron currently defending the third spot from SSR Bobberts right now as Bobberts is looking to put some heat on the RZM driver trying to stop this 1-2-3 shutout here in week number four. And the SSR driver starting to put that pressure on Sloth after a few laps of trying to track him down. It looks like SVR Martin's kind of drifted off in the distance and has kind of find himself in no man's land. Gonna have to try to rebound. And Bobberts on the backside of Sloth. Slothatron holding his line, trying not to give up a whole lot there. The number 85 machine currently putting in some work on the defensive side right now. This start Bobberts is looking to battle him for the for the third spot. SBR Martin back there, he's getting to see some company. It looks like I believe that standing jewel showing up into the picture with MEX Senna. But those two guys got another friend not too far behind them of AMS Hurricane going to start looking to make some moves here. Uh, the way he's been going, he might have a top five car by the end of this race. Bobberts looks to the inside, going through the S's. Knew better than to try to make a move through there. Been very, very devastating for both of these drivers. And Bobbers would try to make that pass in an area it's really tricky to pass on. It's Lothatron trying to do some work here. He sees Bobbers is trying to put the pressure on right now. Right on the backside camera view of RZM Slothatron. You see Bobbers right there. Side by side, coming through the early sections of the racetrack. 
And we got another battle showing up in the mist. That'd be Standing Jewel. Standing Jewel looking to challenge for the fifth spot on the track right now as he's distanced himself from MEX Senna. That's SVR Martin right there in front of him. So the battle for fifth is on. Solar Vision Racing currently looking to see their first knock in the top five in the MEA event. But right now, the Solar Vision driver currently under fire from Standing Jewel, who I believe drives for the MRT group. And Jewel having some issues going up through the S as he lost a little bit of ground on him. And looks like we might have had a lag out. Driver, not sure who it was. We're about to find out here in a second. MRT Elgard with a disconnect. Not sure what happened to Elgard. Elgard is out of the race, so 21 drivers stay on the track. a driver, especially with his caliber. Now that Elgard is out, he leaves 21 on the track. Unfortunate. For sure, he had a strong car. Looked like he started putting some pressure on Hurricane. Like Sweden Pro fell back a little bit. We'll see what's going on with him. And Sweden Pro off the racetrack. Not sure what happened. Sweden Pro now out of the race. It leaves 20 on the racetrack. Behind there, there's Bash and Fat Damon as well. 
just ride with these guys for a couple minutes. and check out how Bash is doing. He's putting some pressure, trying to get that top 10 result today. Bash putting some work on right now on the WRT driver. Sorry about that, guys. I had a technical issue trying to fix my mic. Anyways, going back to the race here now. We got Fat Damon caught up to the back end of Hurricane. Bash still working on Fat Damon right now. Right now, still watching for positions 9, 10, and 11 here. Check these guys back out a little bit. Go further up and see if Martin's putting any pressure on Standing Joel. And he's still with him right now but for that fifth spot after Standing Joel passed him up. See how far Slothatron has fallen off from Boberts. He fell off a little bit there since Boberts has made that path. And Boberts trying to make a run here as guys in front of him, Servi and Breeze, one and two. Well, Breeze won, Servi two. Serby losing a little ground on Breeze so far. And Breeze still got some laps to go before possibly seeing any type of lap traffic. See how a couple of the other drivers are doing. Well, we'll go back to the mid pack because they're the ones that have the power right now. He 
see center right there. He's lost a few positions at the start of this race. He's been going backwards since lap two. Trying to hang on what he can say at save right here. Shadow, seventh position right now. Last minute arrival, actually, if you don't know, if you're just tuning in. Uh, B Shadow almost was not able to get into the game because he didn't have Xbox Live. I guess he got everything taken care of last minute to get to today's race. Senna's starting to catch up to him just a little bit there, but oh, look at that speed coming off the corner. Beast got a good run off the corner. Sin currently doing some battling with MSX Venomous. We're going to keep an eye on these two right now because they are going to work for the 13th position. Sin, one of the B lobby drivers that got in the mix for today's race, currently running 13th. Repassed by Martin there. You see him come off the horn. like uh, Martin has a great run through the S's there. Like 
Matt Damon looked to make a move the inside of Hurricane. Look at this, Hurricane trying to go to work on V Shadow. And the dive to the inside by Hurricane.
right behind him. But that's a start since still holding off SMX Senna, who's been doing nothing but putting pressure on the backside of Sin since, well, I would say since like five, six laps ago. WRT Merciful in 18th. Jigsaw Bungie in 19th. And now round out the cars currently on the track. Rebecca 20th. DNF out of the race with Sweden Pro and Elgard. All three disconnected out of this race. So uh, always unfortunate to see anybody, you know, not be able to continue on due to a disconnect. But, uh, you know, it's part of the game. It's some of those things we can't just, can't take care of. And AMS Hurricane finally in the fence. We're going to hang on with Hurricane here because I'm pretty sure Senna's on the way. And if I remember correctly, Hurricane was right on the back side of Senna. or going into the pits. And it is the Servi. Standing Jewel. Bash going on by. are now getting into some lap traffic. First car being a lap down in this race would be, would be Jigsaw Bungie. And you can see Serby starting to creep up on the lap down car. Bash is in the pits. 
lost the Tron getting on through. And SBR Martin right there. They're back at it once again, side by side, going into one. The driver coming out of the pit with full tires. Martin with a little bit more tires, going through turns two and three here. Martin takes it into the inside. Standing Joel does a crossover. Martin to the outside, standing to the inside. Five and six going to work right now, back at where they left off before. Hurricane looking to make the move. Beast through there, but not enough room to be trying to pull something like that off. Only one car a lap down. AM, the next one with Blister in front of him. Looks like Venom has finally gone around Sin. AMS Hurricane and AMS B Shadow. We'll ride with them for a little bit. And B Shadow is really wide. Had to hold on to the car. Oh, well, the Hurricane gets down low, bumps into them. They're really digging into one another. Both teammates doing some good battling here. The car's bumping and grinding.
Shadow, trying to make something happen here to catch back up to Hurricane. Meanwhile, Senna kind of got away a little bit. leader. He's on every lap in this race. Breeze who's missed a couple leaks. Hasn't seen him since week one. This week, championship points leader, RZM Servi, currently running second all by himself. Shout out to RZM Phoenix. Rise Motorsports painter. It's a man that does all the, the little detail work on these cars and uh, he does a phenomenal job over there at Rise Motorsports. Right behind him, SSR Bobberts has been all by himself ever since passing Slothatron in that third position.
two have been kind of going at it for a while now. SSR back. They're nice. <laughs> I don't know if that's for me. <laughs> if it is, I understand. <laughs> Today was not my day. Right behind Bash. WRT Fat Damon. Honestly, I think in real life, I think people would appreciate the fact that, I, that I'm juggling what seems to be a very rough day for me. Be okay. Oh, refer, okay, refer to me. I'm sorry. I wasn't sure which way you were looking at it. It's probably because guys are probably a few seconds behind me on the stream, but let's say it again. And everybody on stream listening eSports ready once again shout out to LRT Lamb Shop also known as RZM Phoenix and I was just catching the attention of the guy behind this man as AMSB Shadow fell off the racetrack caught some sand and uh, didn't really recover from that and look at this train! It's 7th, 8th, and 9th! Two teammates of Hur Hurricane and the Beast. I'm not sure if they must have collided with one another during battling for position. Now who's that in the background? Looks like it's Nicole back there. Currently in this 11th spot, and she's making a hard charge late to try to get a top 10 finish. We might see her doing some battling here late, having a rough start in this race. Starting to gain some ground on some of these drivers. We might see her battle with Beast here in a little bit, the way it seems to be going. These guys up front of her are really digging into things right now. And Ash has been kind of holding off Fat Damon since the beginning of this, or I should say, the halfway point there. He's kind of been never away from one another. you'd like to see in the chat let me know we'll go check them out for you we're down to five laps to go in this race and look at that venom is all over the back bumper of ssr sin look at that venom is trying to make an outside pass he almost had the run we still have the run he's still kind of right there he does! He's right alongside him, barely! That's the back of oh, the Not sure he's gonna try to make a hard nose dive into this turn. He's gonna stay to the outside. Backs off just a little bit to give Sin a chance to get through there.
just like that. Look at this. These guys are still going at it. Not backing off on each other. It's really, really getting tight with only a few laps remaining for these two drivers. Who do you guys got? Who's going to get the battle for 13th? Do you got Sin or do you got Venomous? Let me know down in the comments section. Watching uh, a few of these drivers do some battling. Looks like Fat Damon must have made a mistake. Lost some ground on Bash. Big Shadow got around him. Nicole slowly creeping into the picture of these two right here. That's is our Bash trying to do some tracking now as he's trying to hunt down seventh place driver AMS Hurricane. Sin almost clipping the 
tire there. He almost went right into the wall of the pit lane, and he's able to gain that position back for the 13th spot with two to go. <laughs> I guess if you put it on your car, you have nothing to complain about. <laughs> So we're back up here in the 8th position now with SSR Bash is currently trying to track down AMS Hurricane. Hurricane, once again, ladies and gentlemen, if you have just tuned in, Hurricane started 20th out of 22 at the beginning of this race. He gained 10 positions on lap number 1. He's been as high as I believe where he's at right now, which would be 7th. And he's only got one lap to hold on, and he got a top 5, or sorry, top 10 out of what seemed to be a really, really tough field to get through, but he was able to make it work. Right now, these drivers are kind of falling off pace. WRT Fat Damon. Nicole doesn't look like she's going to have enough time to get to him. Tron will hold on and take fourth. Standing Joel fifth. 
Last year, Martin will be sixth. Right behind Martin will be AMS Hurricane. He will be your Driver of the Day Award winner coming from 20th to finishing 7th. SSR Bash will be finishing in the 8th position. Right behind him, Beast Shadow, WRT Fat Damon. It's Nicole. That's going back to almost 11th. 12th position driver, Diamond Man, in his first appearance will finish 12th. 13th is still in contention here. SSR Sin doing some defending right now against SMX Venomous for that 13th position, but he's a little too far behind, I would think, at this point. Venice will have to do a long shot here to try to get around Sin. Here they come through the final chicane. Venomous trying to get as close as he can. Oh, but gets close, trying to get through the chicane. Doesn't get a good run. Sin will hold on, and he will take 13th. Venomous will be 14th. WRT Mercifil will be 15th. 16th will be M-R-T-A-N-M. He's kind of had a quiet race himself. 17th, we jigsaw Bungie. As he's got one more lap to go. He was the only car, I believe, a lap down other than a you know, AM and Jigsaw were the only two cars a lap down. So they'll have one more time to go around. And then the remaining of the field, Blisk, will be 18th. 19th, we MEX Senna. 20th will be Rebecca. 21st will be WRT Sweden Pro and rounding out the field for 22nd will be MRT Elgard as he was the first driver to get disconnected out of this race. And just stay tuned as post-race interviews are soon to commence. And what a race, what a finish for some of those guys on the racetrack. Uh, it, it seemed like it might have been uh, really interesting there late as uh, some, a couple of those guys were really starting to put the pressure on. But what a race it was for some of these drivers. Uh, if you guys down in the comment section have any questions you'd like to ask the drivers from my point of view, please go down, down there and I'll be willing, as long as it's appropriate PG, I'll be more than happy to uh, talk to them for you and uh, ask anybody out there that has some questions for these drivers. So right now we're going to bring the top five drivers on in and uh, get some post-race interviews with them. And the uh, sooner we're done, we will sign out here after that is over. So right now we are just bringing in the top five drivers. Breeze, Servi, Roberts, Slothatron, and Standing Jewel. Your top five as we pull them in here momentarily. As two of the drivers on the racetrack still trying to finish out their race. As that would be Jigsaw, Bungie, and MRT, A&M as they got another lap to finish up here, but they should be done momentarily. For the drivers that are just coming into the party and into the commentary booth, go ahead and check the check mark box off in the party so that people on the other side can hear you guys. And uh, we are just waiting for Breeze and Servi to get in here as uh, they are the remaining two uh, drivers to enter this party. See if we get Servi and Breeze in here. We got Breeze. No Servi yet. So there's Breeze and Breeze. Go ahead and check. To talk to you, Steve. <laughs> and Breeze, go ahead and check off the party check um, box off in there as well. And uh, we'll see if Servi gets here soon. But as soon as this crosses the line, we'll pull up the race results. And there they are with Breeze, your race winner. And we're going to start with the fifth place man, Standing Jewel. And uh, we've talked about it before, Jewel. You know, it's been an up it's been an up and down season for you. It's been more up than I would say down. Um, you had a great week one. Week two at Daytona was a very struggling time for you. Uh, it wasn't your best performance by any means. You had a great run early on in that race, but kind of faded off late. Um, and then last week, getting another solid top five finish. And this week, uh, put yourself in position late to try to take on Slothatron for that fourth spot. It just seemed like there was one, two laps short, uh, and you gave yourself the best opportunity possible. But uh, what a race for you. It was an up and down race, uh, and you battled SVR Martin a lot, of, a lot of that race. You caught up to him. You lost position. Uh, he gained back. You guys swapped for a little while. He made a huge mistake after you guys went through your pit stops. Um, and then you found yourself in position 
to get the sloth there late. What was, how did your race go today, and uh, what do you think? Could you have gotten the sloth to try to have one more lap to try to get around him? Not sure if you're there. Did you guys hear him? Yeah, I can hear him. Oh, okay. Alright, I didn't know. Yeah, I was <laughs> playing a rough start, but then Nicole and Senna took each other out. We got made a mistake, and then I ended up with Martin, as you said. And from there on, it was quite a good race, battling him and then catching up with Slav. And, you know, it's... Uh... <laughs> You know, it's it's it, it was a really good race for you. I mean, uh, you and Martin really were digging it out. Uh, what did it take to keep your cool through that moment? I mean, you guys just kept swapping back and forth. It seemed like it would just never end. Yeah, we were indeed. Um, I don't know. I was just fix, focusing on my brake markers and trying to keep it clean. And I think we had quite similar pace. I was a bit faster through the first sector. And, yeah, I think that made the difference after I passed them. Well, congratulations, Standing Joel, on another great performance by you. I know uh, it's been one heck of a race and one great. It's been a great season for you for sure. Uh, going into the final week, uh, you know, there's just one race left, but uh, you know, you you've been able to crack the top five three times this season. Are you looking to finish it out strong? Yes, of course. Well, congratulations on the top five finish. We'll see you next week. Thank you, man. And up the list, the man that was kind of under fire for. Good lap or so there at the end. RZM Slothatron and Sloth, uh, I gotta ask you, it was kind of a lonely race midsection for you, but it, early on in the race, you were doing some def defensive dr battling there with SSR Bobberts. Uh, it seemed like you guys were going at it for a few laps there. You saw yourself for a while without anyone around you, and then they're late. Uh, what, what was going through your mind when you started seeing Standing Joel catch up to you late in this race? Um, well, obviously at the start of the race, I managed to get in front of Bobberts. But, um, you know, I was defending against him, he forced me into a mistake, he got past me and then he uh, just pulled away from me, definitely more consistent and then uh, heading into the pits, probably two la laps after I pitted, I just braked um, hard and downshifted too quickly and gave myself engine damage, just had to nurse the car around and standing jewel was just consistent and just kept catching me towards the end, luckily I managed to defend the last two laps and managed to stay in front. And, and what kind of composure, what, mentally, uh, you know, for some drivers in that situation, you know, late in the race, sometimes people get a little bit antsy. You no, know, they've been up, they've been in their spot all day long, um, and then all of a sudden somebody's starting to creep up with a couple laps to go. Uh, what does it take to keep you mentally stable, not worrying about, you know, who's coming up behind you, just keeping your pace and just maintaining your lines and, and, and keeping yourself in, you know, where you've been the entire race before somebody's getting to you there late. You know, because Standing Jewel was right there at the end, and he almost got you, but, uh, you know, what does it take to keep that composure? Um, just, I was just well aware of where he was, and I just knew where my lines were into the corners to stop him from stop him from overtaking. He, he would have had to give me a good shunt off to, to get past me. I felt I defended the last two back pretty, pretty well. Well, you did a phenomenal job, and it's glad to have you, and uh, your first MEA series, we're glad to have you here with us in one week to go. We hope to see you back with us. Uh, I know personal life sometimes gets in the way, but congratulations on a top five finish. Thank you. And moving up that ladder once again, SSR Bobberts. Uh, it was another it was a quiet race for you, but early in that race, you and Sloth Tron were going back and forth. Well, not really back and forth, but you guys were battling there for a while. Um, you know, you kind of lost a position or two there at the start. Um, but once you kind of got on your roll, you were able to get your spot back and kind of just run the rest of your race. Yeah, it's as uh, Sloth said, you know, uh, when he got ahead of me, and uh, I had a messy first couple of laps. Um, I just had to find a rhythm again. Uh, luckily, we weren't under pressure from those behind. We had a bit of a gap, so I could get my head down, catch him up, and as he said, he forced him, forced him into a mistake. Which meant I got the run through the chicane and into the uh, Yokohama hairpin, as it's known. And yeah, just when I made the move, I just managed to pull away, get some of the good laps in. Um, but I'm, to be honest, I'm getting fed up and getting used to this third place finishing. <laughs> it's becoming a little bit annoying. Um, 
whether or not, well, I don't get me wrong, at least had a good battle at the start of this race, but, you know, Breeze was just on a completely different level today, and Servi, I think he made a mistake at the end of that last lap, because I seemed to gain on him nearly a thousand feet somehow, um, so I'm guessing he made a mistake or something happened, um, but the only thing that I'm not happy with that race was, uh, the fact I didn't get a clean 56, the amount of times I could have had it, and the amount of times I bottled it, but, you know, the third place, it's all right, it's, uh, like I said, that's what I'm used to. Well, congratulations, Bob, on another top three. Uh, we know that you probably won't be with us next week as you're going to have uh, some events to go to, so we're going to obviously miss you, but you had a great season. I uh, was able to crack top five every race. Uh, looking back on the M3 series and its first ever uh, appearance, would you like to see the series come back down the road? Well, obviously, the first thing I was going to say, it depends if we do do... Um Hockenheim next week or if it's the week after if it's next week I can do it, if it's not uh, then obviously then this is my last race but uh, yeah I mean it would be good to see uh, maybe perhaps if we do a different um, GT car perhaps maybe do something different I don't know but obviously we have the GT series itself perhaps try and use a car that Breeze doesn't like using maybe if there's such a thing so somebody else can have a chance I don't know <laughs> No offense, okay. Reese, but uh, yeah, well, he's, he's the man of the hours. He he's, he's, he's the top driver in this. Um, him and Servi, and you know when Hydra's here as well, they're the top three, obviously in this. And there's obviously the rest of us that try and feed off scrap. And RZM Phoenix in the chat saying four GT. So you never know what might happen here. Is uh, this is right? Let's not go time. for his favorite car. <laughs> for that, we're not doing it. Well, congratulations, Bob. It's on a top three finish, and uh, looking forward to seeing you down the road as we know you'll be back for other events in the near future. So congratulations on a great season. Thanks. Well, yes, and RZM Serby, RZM Serby, who I believe is not in the party uh, to talk to him, had a great, had a very solid race once again, finishing second right behind RZM Breeze. Uh, he had a good performance, no real mistakes throughout his race, so another quiet race for Servi as he's kind of seen the last couple of weeks. But congratulations, Servi, on a top two finish. And RZM Breeze, the man of the hour, congratulations on the race win back in, after a couple of weeks being gone. Uh, it's got to feel good uh, to pick up another win and uh, just take us through your race. It was, another, it was a quiet race for you, not a whole lot went on. You had Servi with you for a while. Uh, you got into a little bit of lap traffic, not a whole lot there. It seemed like everybody was on some pretty good pace, so uh, you didn't have to see a whole lot of other drivers, but uh, uh, what, what did it take to run the consistency that you ran today? I mean, you, you had one of the fastest laps in qualifying, one of the fastest laps in the race, and you were able to get it done once again. Just what does it take to do what you do? I like the bit of QP, so it like, helps, and I like this car. So yeah, just a little bit of practice, and quite good round it, so we're just a nice, consistent race. Yeah, well, you know, Breeze, it's always great to have you back with us. We know ESV Hydra, uh, who's also out of the, camp, the championship run, uh, was has been here for two weeks. He'll be making his appearance again next week, and hopefully we'll get to see you. We know that your uh, personal life has postponed you from being the last couple of weeks, but, uh, you know, we've seen some good battles with you guys in the past, and uh, maybe if we get both of you back on the same week schedule, we'll probably get to see you guys go at it once again. But um, definitely, definitely was a great race for you. Um, so congratulations on the win, Breeze. Thank you. And that'll be it for us here this week, number four here in the MEA M3 series. To give you the final results once again, Breeze takes the win here at Nürburgring. Second will be Serbi. Third will be Bobbert. Slothatron fourth. Standing Jewel fifth. Martin sixth. Hurricane seventh, who started all the way back in 20th place, gets the Driver of the Day award. Once again, that's AMS Hurricane. Eighth will be SSR Bash. Ninth, AMSB Shadow. Tenth, WRT Fat Damon. Nicole, 11th. 12th, Diamond. 13th, Sin. Venomous, 14th. 15th, Merciful. AM, 79. 16th, Jigsaw. Bungie, 17th. Blisk, 18th. 19th, Senna. 20th, Rebecca. WRT Sweet and Pro in 21st. And rounding out the field with an early disconnect, MRT Elgard. I'm SSR Mayhem, and thank you for watching. Week number four in the books, one to go. We'll see you next week.